a crying elephant asked a man for help. The man went closer, and what happened next will warm your heart. One day, Baraj, a seasoned wildlife ranger, reached a small hill overlooking a watering hole. There, he saw something he never expected, a large female elephant standing in the shallow waters, tears running down her wrinkled face as she made long, sad trumpet sounds. The poor elephant looked truly heartbroken. Baraj has spent many years patrolling India's lush green jungles and watching the amazing wildlife, yet he had never seen such raw emotion from an elephant before. His heart raced as he stopped the jeep and carefully got out, moving slowly towards the upset elephant to avoid scaring her more. He had no idea that this encounter would change his life forever. Baraj gently called out to the elephant, Hey there, big girl, why are you so sad? The elephant lifted her head and looked straight at him. In her eyes, Baraj saw deep sorrow. She raised her trunk and let out a loud, mournful trumpet. It was clear she was in great pain and was pleading for help. Watching this enormous, distressed creature, Baraj felt a wave of sadness. He knew that despite her immense size and strength, she needed his help. Carefully, he moved closer to the shallow waters where she stood. He crouched down, extending his hand towards her in a gesture of comfort and compassion. To his amazement, the weeping elephant began to calm down a little. She took a slow step forward, stretching her trunk until it was just inches from Baraj's hand. Thinking quickly, Baraj reached into his bag and pulled out a bunch of bananas he had picked for a snack. He peeled one slowly, letting the sweet smell reach the elephant's twitching trunk. Here you go, sweetheart, Baraj said in a soothing voice, holding out the banana. The elephant's eyes lit up with interest as she took the banana from Baraj's hand with her trunk. As she munched happily, Baraj cautiously moved closer, trying to figure out what was causing her so much distress. Then he saw it, a long, jagged gash on the elephant's left hind leg, with the flesh torn open and bleeding. Baraj gasped, realizing she must have been caught in a poacher snare trap, which had ripped into her leg. No wonder she was in so much pain. The wound looked terrible, with jagged edges and shredded flesh causing her agony with every step. Baraj could hardly believe she had managed to drag herself here while bleeding so much. The elephant let out another painful cry, bringing tears to Baraj's eyes. Realizing he couldn't handle this alone, he quickly grabbed his radio. Contacting the nearby wildlife veterinary clinic, he described the elephant's severe injury and urgently requested an emergency medical team. The elephant's blood loss was serious and time was of the essence. While anxiously waiting for help to arrive, Baraj focused on keeping the wounded elephant calm. He continued to offer her food, gently stroking her trunk and speaking soothing words of comfort. The elephant seemed to gain strength from Baraj's reassuring presence, letting out a low rumbling sound of gratitude as she ate the fresh fruit. Suddenly, Baraj heard something else, faint, high-pitched whimpering coming from the dense foliage ahead. His heart skipped a beat as he realized these were the cries of an elephant calf. Dropping the banana peel, Baraj moved quickly and quietly through the undergrowth towards the sound. Soon he spotted a baby elephant trapped under fallen branches and vines. The calf must have gotten stuck after being separated from its mother, who was now caught in a painful snare. Baraj could only imagine the mother's panic when she realized her baby was missing. His mind raced with fear. What if the calf's cries had attracted predators like tigers or leopards? Holding his rifle tightly, Baraj carefully scanned the area, ready to protect the calf if anything went wrong. Don't worry, little one. I've got you, Baraj murmured soothingly. He carefully knelt down and began freeing the terrified calf from nature's twisted trap. Gently, he brushed aside the thorny vines and lifted the heavy branches, all the while whispering calming words to the calf as it wriggled and trumpeted in distress. His hands moved steadily, ignoring the scratches from sharp thorns and the weight of the branches pressing against him. The calf's eyes were wide with fear, and its small trunk flailed as it tried to free itself. Baraj kept his voice low and steady. It's okay. You're going to be fine. Just a little more. Almost there, he said, untangling the vines wrapped tightly around the calf's legs with great care not to hurt the frightened animal. With the baby elephant freed, Baraj slowly backed away allowing the calf to find its footing. He then began making soft chirping noises, gently guiding the baby towards its anxious mother. The baby elephant seemed to understand and stumbled in the direction Baraj indicated. Soon, the mother elephant spotted her rescued calf and let out a joyful trumpet, lumbering over to greet her little one. 
Baraj watched with relief as mother and calf were finally reunited. The sound of approaching Jeep signaled the arrival of the rescue team. Trucks loaded with medical supplies and a sedation team armed with tranquilizer darts pulled up. Over here, yelled Barrage, waving urgently. Hurry, this elephant is losing a lot of blood. Come, quick. Dr. Patel, the head veterinarian, assessed the situation with a grim expression. She quickly took aim with her tranquilizer gun. One well-placed shot later, the massive elephant slowly swayed before collapsing to the ground, snoring loudly. Her anxious calf watched, but Barrage knew sedation was necessary for the vets to treat her severe wound properly. As soon as the elephant was under sedation, the vets sprang into action. They worked swiftly yet carefully, locating the source of the injury and removing the snare. The deep oozing wound was cleaned thoroughly, and after applying generous amounts of antibiotic ointment, they wrapped the entire area tightly with thick protective bandages. Barrage watched the whole operation like a nervous patient, silently hoping the vets would save the poor animal. The baby calf stood close by, feeling the urgency but not fully understanding what was happening to its mother. And what seemed like forever, Dr. Patel smiled at Baraj with relief. She's going to make it, she mouthed, giving him a thumbs up and nodding towards the worried calf. Baraj's shoulders sagged with relief. The wait for the sedation to wear off seemed interminable, but finally the elephant's eyes began to flutter. She opened them slowly, as if waking from a deep sleep, then wobbled to her feet. Baraj held his breath gripped by the fear that the elephant might panic and rampage after being struck by the tranquilizer dart. Yet, the loving matriarch turned her attention to her calf, tenderly nuzzling it to show she was all right. The gentle giant then lifted her trunk and released a loud, rumbling trumpet, a sound that resonated like a joyful bellow of relief and gratitude. Baraj realized that her earlier cries had been desperate pleas for help for herself and her baby, and he had responded to that call. Tears of joy streamed down his cheeks as he watched the reunited family share a tender bonding moment. The calf nursed contently while the grateful mother showered her rescuer with affectionate trunk hugs and gentle rumbling sounds. Baraj marveled at the profound bond between the elephant mother and her baby. In saving them both, he felt he had received a special gift, a rare glimpse into the deep emotions of these intelligent and compassionate creatures. As the elephant family finally meandered into the jungle, the mother gently guiding her calf with her trunk, Raj made his way back to his jeep. He felt a profound sense of peace and fulfillment wash over him. Often, the most heartwarming moments arise from the most unexpected encounters with nature's miracle workers, animal mothers. These surprising interactions reveal the tender, nurturing instincts that transcend species, reminding us of the deep connections that bind all living beings. Have you ever rescued an animal in desperate need like Baraj or witness the incredible power of a mother's love in the wild? Share your unforgettable stories from the natural world in the comments below. If this video warmed your heart, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll never miss our heartwarming stories celebrating the wonders of wildlife. And until next time, I'm Mickey V for Incredible Paws. Have a great day.